So in this problem, we're asked to graph a ground state electron. So a ground state electron has n equals 1, and it's trapped in a one-dimensional potential well with a length of 100 picometers. And we're asked, what's the probability that it's detected in the left one-third of the well? So between um, x is equal to 0 and l on 3. And we know that its wave function is given by the square root of 2 on L. This is R capital A times sine. Now it's n pi, so that's pi in this case because n is 1 on L x. And we want to know the probability. So the probability is equal to we're going between 0 and L on 3. And then it's psi star psi, which is just psi squared because this is real. So we square this. So it's 2 on L sine squared pi on L x dx. So if we can evaluate this, then we know the probability that it's in this region here. So we've got a sine squared function here. So we'll just need to use the standard integral that the integral of sine squared ax dx is equal to x over 2 minus sine of 2ax over 4a. And then there'd be a constant of integration, but we've got the limits here, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so using this, we can pull the 2 on L out the front as a common factor, and then we're just doing our integral. So we've got x on 2, and a in this case is pi on L. So then this is minus sine times 2 pi on L times x over 4 times pi on L. And we're evaluating at x equals 0 and L on 3. So this is equal to 2 over L times L on 3 divided by 2. So that's L on 6 minus now we've got 4 pi on L down the bottom, so this L actually comes up the top and then we've got the 4 pi, that's just divided by 4 pi on L, and then we've got the sine of 2 pi on L times L on 3. So these L's cancel out here, and this L actually cancels this L and this L. So all our L's actually cancel out. So we've got 2 times 1 sixth minus sine of 2 thirds pi on 4 pi. And so then we can evaluate this on the calculator. The trick is make sure that your calculator is in radians mode for this one because this angle here is in radians. So when you do that with your calculator in the right mode, you end up with 0 0.20 is the probability that it's in the left one third. Okay, so that's the answer to part B. Uh, part A, sorry. Part B then asks us what is the probability that the electron can be detected in the middle one-third of the well. Okay, so we've got something like this, and we've split it into thirds, and we know the probability that it's here is 0 0.20. Now, to make this easy, the other thing we know is that this is completely symmetric. So if there's a 0.2 chance that it's in this part of the well, then symmetrically there's a 0 0.20 probability that it's in the right one-third of the well as well. But we know that the total probability that it's in the well is 1, because it's definitely in the well. So 1 is equal to the probability from 0 is less than x is equal to less than L on 3, plus the probability from L on 3 to x to 2L on 3 plus the probability from 2L on 3 to x to L. And we know that this one's 0 0.20 and by symmetry this one's 0 0.20 as well and this is what we're trying to find. So the probability that it's between L on 3 
and 2L on 3 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.20 minus 0 0.20, which is equal to 0 0.60. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. It, this was a very challenging problem, but that is how we go about solving it.